Hello and thank you for staying with us on Plus TV Africa. This is Tea Time where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got my very interesting and amazing co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Benny Aga. And we're going to stick to those two adjectives, interesting mm, and awesome. <coughs> I'll, I'll, I'll find interesting some more. And, but and great. Mm. I it like that. Thank it tickles you. the fair. I love the color you two bring to the table oh, today. Thanks. Like, so Thank cute. It's, well, yeah. try to bring a little bit of sunshine some people's way this mm. morning. You know. Too much gloom and doom. Yeah. It's not been pleasant news all through. This is the and, first time you're wearing the blazers on tea time. It's, 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 it's a nice look. Uh, yeah. Mm. I was thinking I've, I've done this before. I mean, my mm -hmm. early times here. Early times. Red on red. What, what, what? I mean... <laughs> oh, I like how they've not brought it closer. Look, we could go out to no, yeah. social distancing, sorry. Mm. Yeah, it's it should look like a couple, actually. It won't be fun mm. at all. It looks planned. Mm. Mm. Please, I don't the want girls gear. pulling my hair and yanking my necklace when we go out like, I hey, with my man. You but, look like the type. Mm. Wow. That they fight Do over. I look like the type? That it fights over, yeah. But... But the world Smile, is too civil. Blush. The, the world is too civil <laughs> for that now, isn't it? Okay, let's get serious. We have messages um, for you from celebrities to at least bring some sunshine to your life, like Benny has rightly says. And um, this one is from Fireboy DML. He says it's important that we stay indoors and remain a healthy and maintain a healthy personal hygiene during this sensitive period for ourselves, our loved ones, and everyone else. God see us true. So let's take a look at a video from Ladipo and Fausta Bad Guy. What's up, guys? Um, what's good? So there's this song I've been working on. It's called, um, sure you know coronavirus is in our country right now, and you need to take this thing 100% serious, especially if you're a citizen that doesn't want to see this pandemic take hold in our country like it has and is doing in other parts of the world. You have a role to play, okay? The first thing you do is separating information from misinformation. There's this really cool WHO number. It's on WhatsApp. It's verified. I put that in my captions. You tell them hi. They send you accurate information. Okay. Second thing, the virus is highly contagious. Okay. So they recommend we keep a physical distance of at least six feet from one another. The easiest thing to do is just stay home. But I understand some people have to go out. Try to maintain this physical distance. Another key thing washing your hands frequently and effectively. The virus is contagious, but it's very fragile. If you wash your hands, you get rid of it. And don't touch your face. My nose has been itching me from the beginning of this video, but I'm not going to scratch it. Discipline, you understand? Now, to the I just got backs. Welcome home, but please stay in your actual home for 14 days. That's called a self-quarantine and that's key. For those who think they have come in contact with the virus as well, stay home for 14 days. If you feel for any reason that you have it, you're developing symptoms, you need to isolate yourself even from the people within your home. This is also key. I'm going to put the NCDC hotlines that I've seen online. Um, you can call them if you feel your symptoms are getting worse and you need to be taken care of. Look, man, I'm just doing this as a concerned citizen. I don't want to see my loved ones get this and I have to behave in a certain way for that to happen. I implore you guys to do the same thing. This is a time when we have a role to play and we just have to do it effectively. So um, physical distance, social distancing doesn't mean emotional distance. Reach out to the people we love and, you know, we've been through worse times. We'll survive this too. Oh, this is a very important message. Don't find me come out. Please, this is serious you. I'm on self-isolation and quarantine currently like this. Don't find me come out. Anything you need to tell me, contact me via video chatting, maybe FaceTime or, or WhatsApp video call, something like this. Don't find me come out. This is a time of social distance. Most of the fast the bad guys. Don't so, find me come out. Don't find me come out. But like I said, it's not a time to entertain visitors. Yeah. Um, we all should understand at this point in time, man. Anybody that will take it personal that I'm asking you not to come visit me, then you're sent. You're the devil in disguise. I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing in your house? As simple as don't find me come you know, out. Don't find me come out. And I think I expect to see more of this. This is what I expect more of our celebrities to be doing. Yeah. I think the, right now we need to start embracing more of these positive messages out there because mm -hmm. all, all we've been getting is just fear so much of fear being you know um in our faces and the thought of it alone is enough to make you even at the end of the day start feeling everything happening to you right now i woke up with a headache this morning I'm like oh my god Rona, is that you, fam? <laughs> you know i woke up with a headache i'm like oh gosh what's the meaning of this you know so we need a whole lot of just kind of positive messages people should know that you know what yes it is contagious but the things you can do daily every day it keeps you safe 
and you can go about your life and mm. not necessarily thinking anything that happens to you is a symptom of coronavirus. I, I mean, I can understand. I feel like since this ha came to Nigeria, everyone has seen one symptom or, or the other. And it's just how, how the mind works. I'm really, like, I guess I'm really impressed by, what's his name, Ladipo's video. I don't know. It just, it really spoke to me. It was very eloquent. It was simple. It was clear. And it was fun. And yeah. it was nice to watch him just articulate that. Like, I feel like I need to nominate him to become the Malian president instead of... <laughs> This he's man. not in Malia. Well, he's not Malia's on the throne. Because I feel yeah. like that's the kind of person that should be having a lot of following. Like, mm. that should reach more influence. Nigerians. Yeah. Like, he was so simple and so clear, but Lattie he Boy still has that, like, fun yeah. thing to it because you could almost see, like, he a was rapping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just, I, that, that's the way you deliver, like, an entertaining but powerful impact um, for, no um, um, informed message. So I really, I really enjoyed watching that. Um, and I'm happy that more people are doing that. Obviously, Files did his, his own thing, and we're all still saying the same message. Um, and I'm hoping, because what I'm beginning to see is that the middle class and educated people are getting the message, but the lower class are still struggling. So I'm hoping that this helps in trying to get in trying to de disseminate the, the message to people through their WhatsApp phones. Like I'm sure the people people follow the celebrities I'm like here. So I hope people can start to do that because I'm still hearing things like God to protect me if a believer of Jesus this cannot happen to you. Um, you know, things like that. So we need to start getting other types of messages into these people's phones and stuff. So I'm hoping that this type of video circulate and that people are starting to self isolate. Yeah, what you said is the reason why I was so worried or I'm still very worried with the mindset of someone like Naramali because his influence cannot be compared to that this of yeah. um, Ladipo and of course Faust has his influence as well but um, the kind of articulate message that Ladipo did is, is more acceptable right now. Even someone like Dinola Gray that has been on it some, some, even on Twitter as we were saying this your English is too posh right? Yeah. They need it broken down yeah. for them to really understand it and also take the message to them. So I know that um, a lot of radio stations are, are doing the sensitizing in, the, in between um, most of their programming and their conversations and their music, they slip it in somehow. And I think radio has um, one of the biggest reach when it comes to Thank media. Yeah. The television stations still, still are doing the same too. I mean, across TV Africa here, we're doing everything possible to push out the right messages to you to let you know that you can actually prevent it. And then um, if it happens, I mean... I don't think anybody's immune right now. So if it happens, you can also as well beat it, right? Yeah. So um, I hope that uh, more people, more people with more influence yeah. will jump on this and will look out for their videos and share with you. At least false, files made us laugh. And yeah. uh, let's just add a little bit of humor, but not forget the sensitivity of um, the situation on, at hand. Th there's a little concern though, like she, right when she was speaking, the, the urban dwellers, which would fall into that category, they're beginning to get more are you, are you me sensitized. Are you me no, I'm not calling you poor. <laughs> Or urban dwellers. <laughs> you know, and then, now the information is not necessarily trickling down enough to the rural dwellers, mm -hmm. I mean, people in communities and villages. And this is where the NOA has been blamed, I mean, for not doing enough to sensitize, enlighten, and educate people, which is their core responsibility in the nation. And um, there, there, are no, there, are no, there are no stingers, there are no messages out there on radios, on TV from the NOAs. And you're wondering, okay, my, my grandmother in the village, how much of this is she aware of? You know, so, um, mm. the, rural do the rural dwellers should also be, but they should find Just a way tight. where this can also get across to them. I, because they're not immune to it. Mm. They're definitely not I, immune I, I to it. I feel like I disagree with that. I feel like it's there. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like people know coronavirus of, from all grounds. I think what's happening is it, the, it it's you. the contradiction to the fact that they don't believe in it. I think everyone... The rural dwellers? Is, yes. People no, many, are, of them, people many of them are, are, are not, are not well sensitized. There's too many videos coming about here. You know. you, when you're saying rural, we're talking rural village yeah, kids about villages, talking you know, yes. about coronavirus. Either they're destroying the name and not pronouncing it. I think they're aware. What's happening to me, from this is my, my opinion, is a co it's a contradiction of messages by their local authorities, so churches and um, pastors, imams, but still um, that happening in the urban um, areas whatever. Too, I mean. Those are the people that are saying that guy can't touch you. No, I think what she's saying is oh. for the urban areas, if, if, if the information you, you, is you're there. privileged, you can easily go and search and equip yourself. Yes. But people in the rural area will take whatever they are hearing, hook, line, you know, just yeah, like that's that. why I said there's, there's need for an effective yeah, dissemination yeah. of the information and so they no, know exactly what, what that this thing is, that is real, it's, it's happening. I think it's there. I think that we have taken the message. Coronavirus is uh, in Nigeria. We've <coughs> taken it to the roots. I think what's happening no, is that there is contrary. Even if that. we have to call it COVID-19 for you to prevent it, whatever you call it, 
just maintain your hygiene. That's the most important part. Yeah. So at least I can I can say that um, President Buhari's speech went far. Yeah. So even if you have to rename it and call it what they heard their president they, calling they know, it yeah, to understand it, or yeah. maybe I also heard they call it Kolodia, Kolodia yeah. something. Whatever it is, just yeah. teach them hygiene, yeah. which is the most important. Whatever they call it is not. And important well, well, I think right people now. are beginning to also see that as well because my house is under construction now, so we have carpenters, plumbers, people, different people, and I'm talking grassroots people. Um, coming into the house they all know about it but they have very skewed ideas of what it is that's because they it. don't believe in it that's, but that's, that's what i'm saying it. that yeah. i don't think it's that the government hasn't spread the information they have okay. they just haven't had enough knowledge about it and maybe i mean they've already seen that we're wearing masks and wearing gloves so mm -hmm. they know that okay maybe we should be doing that as well maybe we should be protecting our face and our hands but we'll get there i mean okay well as media um practitioners i guess i guess we have more works in our hands oh, yeah. to be done and We'll try our best, but at least listen. <laughs> now, moving on, Don Jazzy slams Nigerian politicians for failing to build hospitals. He tweeted, um, Build hospital, build hospital, Unano here. Now you cannot go abroad. I mean, I said this the other day as well. People have been saying it. We are here, we die here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad this is, you know, it's almost unimaginable to, to like, let's say, write this story that Nigerian politicians wouldn't have a way out because that has always been the case. We've mm. always had um, things, but it's always been an access. No one in their wildest imagination would have thought that there would have been a virus that wouldn't allow us to travel and like being able to have access to other things. So I feel like this is a really good... I, I, I don't, like I always said, I don't want to be insensitive, but I feel like this is a really good type of virus for Nigeria to mm -hmm. kind of wake us up to realize that at the end of the day, Many days for the thief, one day for the owner. And now, coronavirus is calling at your doors. I also kind of have noticed how, like, this thing is spreading amongst the elites, amongst the people who we look up to and, uh, you know, hold um, accountable and things like that. So I'm hoping that this is a wake-up call for them and that while coronavirus is happening, I'm not saying after and the next year, while it's happening, we start to see builds yeah. or more. Yeah. I, you know, I also mentioned before we came on, on, on the show that I'm happy this is happening now. Not like I'm not sensitive to the situation. I mean, people are dying but i feel like if when we come out of this um if nigeria doesn't get better nigeria especially if we don't start to put things right actually with our health system and other things then maybe if there is any little hope we have that nigeria will be better then we should <laughs> yeah. just throw that away because at the same time i'm also kind of relieved that this is going through the elites because this is a type of virus that if it gets to the grassroots it should be really difficult to control it. It should be really difficult to say, you know, this set of people self-quarantine. Like, you mentioned right yesterday that there are people who stay in one room and they're like five or six in that one space how exactly do you want them to self-isolate you know so um i hope that this would also push them to do the right thing think of the right measures to take right now and contain this because we have um i think 46 cases right yeah. now um i'm not a negative person but i know that number would go up yeah. or if uh, some people are saying that, it's even more, cases, so more than that so i'm saying it's more than that and they right are now. not sharing what exactly it is yeah. but that's not the point right now the point is that um i kind of like that I'm still roaming around this certain people or this certain yeah. class of people and i'm hoping that we can contain it yeah. before it gets down to the grassroots yeah at, at the end of the, at the end of the day I'm, I'm hoping because this is going to blow over um i'm just hoping that the nigerian government will be able to see the need to to take seriously infrastructural projects especially when it comes to the health sector um, that is a whole lot of work that needs to be done there. Am I happy that, um, that they can't travel at abroad? Because if if that ban wasn't there, many of them would have flown out. We wouldn't even be aware. It wouldn't come to public news and go get themselves treated. But unfortunately, again, it, it feels kind of good to know that it's just people at the top right now that are the most victims of this to see to make them see their failure of leadership of governance which they should have done long before now i'm really indifferent about don jazzy coming out to talk about this right now um at, at any at any instance of, of of an event and um an occurrence people say stuff you know more particularly can can we begin to be more proactive before things happen before we start speaking out you know, and so it, it behoves the government right now to know what to do. Um, Atiku Son is affected, Buhari, most people in the presidency are affected. So our health system can eat at the end of the day if this escalates. 
Hmm. Are we prepared enough to take care of this? Amazing, and that's 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 a discussion we should be having right now. And I, I don't see any I don't see any quarter discussing about this right now. Ooh, right? Yeah. So well, shout out to Jack Ma and you know, yeah, let's yeah. let's let's see let's what we can let's what we can do. You know, I mean, let's see what we can do right now to to reinforce to reform our health sector and make it bring it up to date to be able to curtail issues like this. So and at the end of the day, it's not I mean, even it, just it's on strong. corruption. Yeah. You know, at the end, at the beginning of all this, remember when um, Ghana shut down and we were speaking to our own minister and he was saying we don't have that inside mm. this most people that caught this virus were following the news or let's assume they should have been following the news it's it was already a pandemic before it's, they left the it. shores like of this the president of the cos the chief of staff I the chief know. of staff the yeah. chief of staff of the president abakiari I mean, he actually traveled out to two countries. They were already listed, you know, I mean, high risk zones. Mm -hmm. And he see traveled out. And so one will begin to wonder, okay, is this, how irresponsible can one be? And this is somebody in leadership. Mm. And at the end of the day, now we can't really say for sure. It makes sure. you understand why I mean, their leadership positions are failing. It's because they have that mindset. And you know, it, it, it's very interesting when, when people talk about your attitude and your mindset, how it's going to elevate. It's showing because it's not only just affecting the role that you have been um, appointed to and it's seriously crashing. Yeah. It's also showing in your personal life that mm. you can't even take your own life seriously. For it worries me that the people that are supposed to be caring for me can't even take themselves seriously. seriously. How much more for the government? And then you, you, you see that they're putting their energy in the wrong places. People are still having parties in the UK. People are still traveling to have it. You know, let the corona has come, Sha. Let's <laughs> let it roam around. Let's see how people respond. Yeah. All right, let's go for a quick break. When we come back, we are here to discuss more. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I they see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Right oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Make music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Cardi B claims celebrities are being paid to say they have coronavirus. However, Idris Elba has responded saying that, quote, I think the negativity around test shaming is counterproductive. I don't see what people get out of that. Also, this idea that someone like myself is going to be paid to say I've got coronavirus, that's like absolute bulls, such stupidness, end of quote. The, the, the theories out there, the different mm -hmm. theories out there, and so Cardi B... She might, she's very jovial. She might be joking. At the same time, it could be coming from a very um, informed place or so because we, we can't negate. It's, it's the world. The, the whole world is run on conspiracy. Benny, what are you trying you know? to say? No, I'm not. I'm no, saying, I think what Cardi B said that, that I'm that interested in is the fact that some of or majority of the celebrities that are coming out are saying they we don't, don't have, have it, symptoms. That they were paid. So are you telling us now that you don't even yes, have I, a symptom I get and then you're, you're positive? You know, but again, but we have we have people but who have died from it's this. Not, this is not a celebrity thing. Like I don't know if you've seen the documentary that came out of Iceland because they're so little. They decided to test all their citizens. Mm. Most of the tests that came out that were positive, nobody is showing. No signs. symptomatic. So None of them. Them. You know, so yeah. so at the end of the day, I mean, so this, well, this, 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 this could still. Be, no, we're not saying it's a celebrity right thing. No, she's not saying it's a celebrity she thing. She is. She's saying that celebrities are being paid. It's a celebrity thing. No, it's not necessarily that. She's not saying that. She's not saying that about somebody who's come out to say that I have been. Tested positive and I mean nobody. She's not talking about that. How She's many, how like many the, nobody like have come out to say, say I'm tested positive and I don't have there the symptoms? There is so many of them, bro. Like I follow symptoms. the hashtag Who? of coronavirus on Twitter on the quarantine Without stories. Symptoms. There's so many nobody. of them. There is look, look okay. Let me nobody talk, let me talk, let me talk, talk, let me talk, Why would they want to do that? Let me tell you one. Yeah. There's a there's a guy in Australia. His story. He went. He said he went and, and met with a friend at a bar. He said he washed his hand three times, four times. He did everything he could. Make sure he didn't touch any handles or whatever. The next day, the, his friend that he went to see started showing symptoms. They tested him because he works in a fancy 
company that can give him that type of access. And he got he te tested positive. My guy was still not showing any symptoms. He tested pos uh, He did a test four days after with no symptom. That's a random person on Twitter. Go on Twitter, yeah, just spend your time that, that, there. That, that's, that's the point. This point I'm making. I mean, that's that's one person I'm saying, and it's still is still unknown. What do you mean? He's not known. Exactly. Now she's saying some known people that I don't know if I'm they saying. come out to say. I have it. It still it gives more credibility to 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 the virus. What? That's right. not what she's so, saying. So, but that is not to negate the fact that the virus is here with us. The people yeah, have died from it. People are dying from it. And so, whether people are being paid to come say they have it when they don't have it, that is left to them. But the, the world is right now trying to grapple with a global I think, pandemic. I think the point of this you know, story for and me people have made is jokes to out of this. That, I mean, um, 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 Benny, you can't go and keep emphasizing on that attitude there's no, no such no, thing. I'm, I'm not justifying any, it there hasn't it's like been any the pastor who is around here coming to say that. there's corrosive anointing for corona isn't that a joke but this is completely that, different that this there's no is, corona is in nigeria no it's not it's not different shaming. it's the same thing no it is because what you're doing is that you're shaming the people who have come out to test it's, it's a shame yes it is no, because you're you are taking she's away alleged. you are taking away their credibility she's not shaming she's alleged i think cardi b is worried if you watch that video i mean even she's her worried. body movements she's and the worried? way she, yeah she is okay. worried she she had to sit back at some point and like they need to explain what is going on because you're saying everybody could have have the virus right now and still not know because there's no not symptoms tested, there are no symptoms right so i think she's legit worried did it come off as trying to um, test shame people yes. yes but we cannot take away the fact that the the fear that this virus has caused is making so many people say So are, are you saying she, she, she was seemed to be talking from a place of fear? Yeah, yeah. I think she was talking she from a place she, of fear. And not necessarily like trying to shame she somebody. Said, I mean, I don't is. think she was trying to shame somebody. Exactly, said, that's my point. No, well, Why would she want to shame anybody? You know, shaming isn't just necessarily saying that, oh, look at you, whatever. When you take away the credibility of someone, yeah. mm. that is shaming. If I say that I'm a victim, and then well, you let's say, let's talk about it. It's almost two weeks now, right? He's not testing negative yet. He still doesn't have any symptoms. So this is not even about Idris and Cardi B. I think um, the scientists or the doctors need to come out to tell us exactly Explain something to us. We really how don't this know virus works. works because I feel like these symptoms they are telling us is well, not exactly what is it is. It's a novel virus. We don't know. You're asking oh, so they you're not going to get an answer also. to. They don't know. They've wow. said that a million times. That there's a lot of things. <sighs> we don't know if it can be transmitted by sex. We don't know a lot so, of things about this virus. And this is why when um, um, Trump calls it <coughs> Chinese virus, let's not be quick to want to kill him. Let's go to the root of where this thing started because the they origin. are saying now that they are almost free, that they are opening up their shops and they are fine. How did the virus start? Start answering questions. Because you cannot just release now. They say they have what anti anti something new virus that and, is going. And, and, like and, and, you and cannot Tana, be the um, capital of virus. Now we were happy when you were giving us technology and made in China things and, and it was working and making now. our life better. But if it's virus, you are going to start exporting. We are not interested. So let's answer the right questions. What exactly is wrong so and is, how is, does this, the symptoms work? So this work? is the establishment right now. That means the three of us on this table. Just, so there's every possibility. Of course. Two or three of us are actually positive, because, of but course. still, of we're not course. symptomatic. Of course, and that is the that cause for concern. It is, which is it, why she's worried. Well, that is why she. I, I think course, so. Of course, of you know. course. But you, did you, did you watch the video? She, I did. she, she, she paralleled that example to the tea tummy tea thing, where people have flat tummies and come out and say that it's the tea, and it's not the tea. A lot of them have done surgeries or have already had flat tummies, and then they get the um the dealing from the tea tummy and say that it's the tea. You well, can't well, compare well, that well, well, and well, say well, that. On and, that note, that's a fact. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So then when you add that to, to people who have tested and come out positive, what you are saying is shaming. What you're saying is that people are coming out pretending to have the virus so, when they don't have okay, the virus. So, so for you, you're not calm, you feel she's trying to de de you, you're, What she's trying to do is she's, bring up a, a conspiracy to theory thing, right? and it's not helpful. Okay. It's, 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 it's based on... But do on, we agree okay. that we, they need to answer more questions from Wuhan in China? <laughs> I feel like we, we need more time to understand the virus. A lot of the scientists that are coming out that are working on that mm. are telling you they're not magicians, that they're not God. They don't understand that they need more time mm. to find out what this virus is. Okay. Yes, China has a part to play, but this is the country that, first of all, did not come out to say that they had a pandemic ages since the thing started and we're transporting people this, this, and spreading it and we're lying that nothing was wrong and they had it under yeah, control this, this so don't expect strain. magic from this people this supposed strain where did it come from it just came from the air i mean was, it came was, from was the it, was animal was it man was it animal and that's why vegans are, and and, and um, animal um, um right, uh, animal whatever are, are, are shouting now because it is definitely from the interaction we have with animals it's not really it like, i feel like that could have happened anywhere else
Okay. That's just me. Well, again, it's, it's Cardi. She has she has a way of just saying what she wants to say, and so I think we shouldn't take it too seriously again. I mm -hmm. think you should take it seriously. It's yeah. the same thing with the Mar Nara Mali and the rest. I, I put Nara Mali and She's Cardi just like another Nara Mali in the US. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, I think um, the way she presented her own is way better. Nara Mali is telling you that there's nothing like coronavirus. Like, doesn't which is a big problem. You yeah, for so for even questioning to, yeah. that. So, okay. I think bottom line for me is that we need more answers. And um, Faust the bad guy, how did he put it again? Don't don't come to my, don't come. Uh, don't look. For, don't come home. Whatever. Just don't come, don't come find me. Thank don't you, come Jimmy. Find me. <laughs> okay, so that's our wrap up this episode of Tea Time. House. Thank you for watching, and remember, don't come find me in my house. You can watch this conversation by visiting our YouTube channel, Across TV Africa. You can also watch it on How to TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to Michael Ankos, Ife Omai, and Beniak, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin and please do stay home, stay safe and don't come find me in my house.